So the four horsemen are four or four are basically four world events. The beginning of the breaking of the seven seals. And the seals need be broken to usher in the reign of who? Who's the main character in the book of Revelation that leads the beast kingdom against the forces of good? Who? Who's the subject matter? In Hebrew, his name is Abaddon, translated as place of destruction. But in Greek, his name is Apollyon. So it is Apollyon that we need our focus trained on. In Revelation 9-11, we read, And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. Apollyon means destroyer. Apollyon is no different than Shaddai of my prior videos. Now, Apollyon's throne is mentioned by Pausanias. The ancient historian Pausanias mentioned that Apollo's throne, Apollyon, because his name is Apollo, Apollon is, is actually Apollo in Greek, but we have simplified it in English to Apollo. Apollo's throne from the 6th century BC is described perfectly by Pausanias. Scholars have used that and artists have used that to create different depictions. I don't have to tell you what to look for. I'm just going to show you. This is an artist rendering from old from a long time ago of what Pausanias said Apollo's throne looked like. You know, make sure you guys can see this. The first horseman carries what? What do you see? Apollo's throne, 600 BC. That's 2,600 years ago. Oh, but we're not done. We are not done. Now, so the apocalyptic narrative is of the seals being broken to open the gate of the abyss. This is the focus of Revelation. Apparently, the demons can't do it on their own. They need help. So, the narrative of the book of Revelation is the breaking of the seals, which is like a war against humanity. But in the breaking of the seals, there's great liberty and freedom. And I've explained this in my other, in my other presentations. The fifth seal, the fifth seal reveals some of that. Now, Someone is helping these demons fulfill their goal. They can't do it on their own. The goal is to open a portal that Apollyon can come forth. So I don't know all the logistics. I don't even claim to know. But we're, we're about to go into some deep stuff here, and that's what this video is about. I'm going to tell you the truth. And I'm asking, I'm asking Christians, I'm asking decoders, I'm asking, I'm asking anybody out there who wants to pick up the torch and run with it, because there's a lot more to find out here. I'm not claiming to know it all. I'm just claiming to have discovered the fact that January 2020 was the breaking of the first seal. So